So why do we care about commutators? Why, why do we define this? Uh, and so the, the reason is we, we care about uncertainties. And so commutators are actually related to uncertainty principles. So if we remember, we defined sigma a squared for some, some uh, observable a is equal to the um, expectation value of a squared minus the expectation value of a squared. We looked at this in the last chapter. Uh, we're, we're not going to show this, but we're going to look at the final result. We can show that if we have two different observables, a and b, if we multiply their uncertainties by each other, sigma a times sigma b, will always be greater than or equal to one half times the absolute value of the integral psi star commutator of the uh, operators a and b psi d tau. Okay, so this shows that there's a relationship between the uncertainties or the commutator here and the product of uncertainties here. So if we have, op so one, the consequence of this is that if this, this commutator is equal to zero, uh, then the, un the product of the uncertainties can be equal to zero. Right, so that um, if a and b are equal to zero, what that means is we can know the observables a and b simultaneously. So in our example above, or in the last video, for kinetic energy and momentum, we can know those values at the same time because their commutator is equal to zero. But on the other hand, for position and momentum, let's go ahead and plug that into this equation here. Okay, so we have sigma x sigma p is greater than or equal to one half times absolute value of the integral of psi star times uh, positive i h bar psi d tau. And we can go ahead and pull out um, just check my notes here. So we'll end up with the uh, greater than or equal to one half times the absolute value. We can pull out the i h bar of the integral of psi star psi d tau. But this part is just going to be equal to one. This is just the normalization integral. So if we, if we assume that these wave functions are well-behaved and normalized, which it, that's our postulates, uh, we get left with one half times the absolute value of i h bar. And a property of i is the absolute value of i is equal to one. So overall, our final result, put it in a different color, is that sigma x sigma p is greater than or equal to h bar over two. This is the uncertainty principle that we talked about all the way back in chapter one. And that's like the most, one of the most famous equations of quantum mechanics. And the fact that we have an uncertainty principle between position and momentum is due to the fact that they, the operators do not commute. Uh, and so there's this relationship between uncertainty principles and commutators is something that's generic across quantum mechanics. So the sigma x sigma p uncertainty principle is not the only uncertainty principle. There are other uncertainty principles uh, that exist as well. This is just the most famous and uh, you know uh, physically uh, relevant uh, uncertainty principle that we encounter on the on a frequent basis.